can't Congress change these laws? Well, Maria, one, I'm, I'm glad you're there and you're showing what's happening along the border. It, it, it is indeed a crisis. We all know last month, 103,000. See, I'm telling you, man, all these immigrants make this country terrible. Hey, man, you don't know what they're going through, dude. Well, if their country's so bad, they're just going to come over here and make this country bad. Not all of them are terrible people, Michael. I know. I like you, Eric. You're a great Mexican. But they shouldn't just let people in. That's why they should build a wall. Don't tell me you're in support for the wall. Well, yes. What's wrong with that? Well, first of all, I respect your opinion and will not disregard all your values. To begin with, a wall is not going to stop all immigration. And how is that? Well, let me take out my notes here. Well, did you know that in a study by Donald Kerwin from the Journal of Migration and Human Security shows that 40% of immigrants come to the U.S. by planes? Don't you think that means we should take care of that other 60%? That just means we need to improve our border security. Don't you think that would cost the U.S. more money? We're already in enough debt as it is. Okay, then. Let me take out my notes. Actually, the wall would cost $25 billion, according to Liberty Verde, who is a statistician. I know what you might say. How does that seem even remotely acceptable? Well, it's because immigrants cause economic harm to Americans because they consume far more in government services than they contribute in taxes. We make they take. They're just trying to make a better life for themselves. I understand that, but it's just ruining our economy. Well, can you explain how? Okay, let me take my notes back out. Illegal immigrants and their children cost American taxpayers $135 billion annually, according to the Federation for American Immigration Reform, new 2017 report. The U.S. constantly spends $46 billion on immigrants' education. After this, there are $29 billion in medical care costs, $23 billion for law enforcement, and $9 billion in welfare. There's also the fact that immigrants get in jobs here and send the money back to their families in Mexico. Well, it's not the immigrants' purpose to take your money. They're not just seeking opportunity for work, but they are still seeking asylum. Places like my home state, Michoacan and Guerrero, were listed as the two of the five Mexican states to which U.S. citizens should not travel by the U.S. Department. The number of homicides is at a record high in these states, and it's not just gang members. Who are being targeted. Innocent people, children are also being killed in the fire. People start immigrating because it was just becoming too dangerous for their families. They did not want their kids or loved ones to be the next body bag. That is terrible, but don't you think that can bring the immigrants up and that their violence may come up here as well? There's been studies like the one in Cato Institute that providing proving that only 7.9 of illegal immigrants have been convicted of crimes, which is 77% below of the native-born Americans. Also, the arrest rate for all immigrants and legal immigrants was 65% and 81% below that of native-born Americans. Well, even if they're not bringing criminals, they are still bringing an enormous number of drugs to the United States. Data on drug seizures at the U.S. border show an alarming amount of trafficking taking place in recent years. Since 2009, heroin seizures at the southwest border have almost tripled, while meth seizures quintupled through 2014. Also, cocaine and marijuana remain two of the most commonly seized drugs along our southern borders, linking to millions of pounds seized by the U.S. Border Patrol. Not only is this affecting our citizens, but our economy too. I know drug trafficking is a big problem, but actually most of it comes through ships, so a wall probably wouldn't stop all of that. The most contradicting thing about the wall is that, that actually immigration is at an all-time low. The number of undocumented immigrants in the U.S. has declined by 2 million since 2007. Our border security is already good enough, and there should be not, no need for a better one if the one we already have is working. Even though immigration is at an all-time low, there are still spikes and surges of immigrating across the border. There was a 120% increase 
and immigrants claiming asylum between the year 2017 and 2018. And so far in the year 2019, beginning October 1st, there has been a 90% increase compared to the previous year. This is something our current border security cannot deal with and can be helped with the construction of a new wall. Well, I don't think we're going to be finding a middle wall in our conversation here. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to convince you to be on my side of the story. Well, me and you might not agree on our values or our ideas, but at least you heard my part of the story. You were a great sport too, man. I'm happy we're friends. You want to play some Mario Kart? For sure. I got dibs on Roy, though. All right.